Oh, hello. I'm doing something I haven't done in a while, and it's not taking pictures today. In fact, the GoPro is the only camera I have with me. Well, I do have my iPhone with me. But I'm at the river. I'm going to do some river fishing this evening. I uh, got my kayak. This is my old kayak. Uh, I plan on replacing it this winter with a sit-on-top kayak. I'm getting a little long in the tooth, and it takes me a little bit to get out of this canoe. So, or kayak, I should say, not canoe. Um, so I'm going to go up river quite a ways. Uh, it's kind of overcast, but uh, going to see what I can catch this evening. Hopefully, I have to pull my camera out quite a bit to record some of the catches. So my uh, fishing is going a lot like uh, my photography. I got all the way down to the river, got my kayak out, and realized I left my paddle at home. So now I'm driving all the way back home to get my paddle so I can turn around and come back. It's going to be 45 minute round trip probably. Well, I'm back going down the road to go fishing. Uh, my wife had the paddle sitting in the garage. I gave her a kiss and took off. So I probably lost 40 minutes of fishing, but oh well. I mean, this is one of my favorite places to fish. I haven't fished it, I don't think, all summer long. It's been a busy summer, so uh, see how I do. I'm going up stream, going that way. I've got about, oh, I don't know, half hour to get up there. hooked two already there's a little hole right out in front of me here that I'm trying to get I hung up oh there we go thought it was a big fish there for a second it's hard filming and fishing at the same time let me tell you I just got a pair of sandals on some shorts my kind of fishing. Just use the kayak to get up here. Okay, it's time to go upstream a little ways. This right here is all shallow, so I'll walk on up. Canoes come down this stretch, or kayaks, they usually go through here pretty quick. So they don't have time to fish unless they do like I do and pull over. I have a little hole out here on my try. So, what a beautiful evening. It's a uh, September, I think it's the 13th today, and the weather is in the 80s. So I'm going to try this little hole right here. Sycamore tree in front of me. Uh, it wasn't here last time I fished up here. Looks like it's about to fall in the river. I got a little grass. This hole out in front of me here from about right there down to about right here used to have a lot of fish so I'm gonna cast in there a few times and see what happens I got a limb right above oh there's a good bite fast one usually on the bank like that it'll be perch usually finally got a fish on don't know it's kind of fighting like a no it's a pumpkin seed these these fish are beautiful look at the color on this fish i love the color on these almost looks like a tropical fish we call them pumpkin seeds i don't know what the scientific look look how pretty that is not very big let's let him go good smolly oh yeah he's a nice one yeah I love the way, oh, I lost them. I love the way these fish fight. Got another fish on. Don't know how big he is. Oh, he's taking off drag. He must be pretty good. Oh, I love these fish. Oh, I can't tell. I got two good hits down there. Oh yeah, he's decent. So far, I think he's my biggest one. 
Well, he's all right. Nothing to write home about. Beautiful Ozark Smalley. So, I got him good. There he goes. That was fast release. I'm coming up to one of my favorite holes. Uh, got some large smallmouth out of this hole years past. But again, this is the first time I've been up fishing this. Seems like I did a lot of lake fishing, but very little river fishing. And to tell you the truth, I love river fishing more. I mean, it's easier to get to. Whoa. But I'll show you this hole. I don't know if you can see it, but where that sycamore is, right through there, I always catch some big fish. So let's see if there's any holding in there today. Fish on. Of course, in this faster water, they all feel like monsters, a little small mouth. I got several bites through there, but I never did hook one up. This is the first one I hooked up, about third cast in there. Went to a white one. One average size for this hole but sometimes you catch some big ones out of here and nothing bites but no hookups try it again little bite little bite little bite another one darn i think when i turn my camera off i hook into them Oh, that might have been a bite. Yeah, it was. Missing a lot of them. I'm out of practice, I think. Something small. No, uh, he wasn't. He wasn't very big when he took it. No, look, some kind of record. How's that fish gonna eat my lure? Another little pumpkin seed. Fish on. Smalley. A uh, decent sized one. I love the way these guys fight. There we go. Not bad. Sorry, uh, camera's crooked. There he is. And there he goes. And nothing. As soon as I leave the camera on, it uh, fish. I don't get a fish. So. I always get a little bite over there. Don't know how straight the camera is. Oh, hung up. There we go. I'm using a braided line and I really like it. It's kind of expensive, but uh, it's a tough stuff. In fact, I had to buy special scissors to cut it. Fish on. Not sure what it is. Oh, it's a real, it's a goggle eye. Or rock bass as they're commonly called. We call them goggle eye. Usually they school up, but another fish on. He hit it hard too. I don't know what it is. I think it's a small E, but man, he hit it hard. Oh, it's a nice small mouth. Might be my biggest one in the yeah, in the smallest water too. Oh, he's a nice one. I'm gonna have to measure him. Whoa. too much drag on I think he'll go 12 inches maybe longer oh yeah oh, my camera's crooked again 
Look at that sucker. That's what I come for. 16 inch smallmouth. There he goes. Oh, somebody's shooting. Had a fish on. Went to turn on my camera and got off. Fish on. I don't think he's very big. I think he must be a pumpkin seed or something. Oh yeah, he's a little bigger. They are beautiful. I hear shooting all around me, so it's dove season, so I'm thinking people are dove hunting up here on this field. I've got uh, this water behind me. I'm going to fish real good, and then I'm going to just walk downstream. But that water over there looks good, so I'm going to fish it. Fishing was all right. I didn't catch a whole bunch. Did catch that 16 incher. I'm going to put a whopper plopper on and float back down the river. But it is beautiful here. You can see the sun looks kind of strange because of the smoke in the sky. But uh, this is one of my favorite stretches of river right here. And I haven't seen anybody, I heard somebody shooting a couple times, but uh, what a great evening. I got a good fish on, I think. It's pulling my kayak around. Haven't seen him yet. <laughs> He's spinning me around. He hit the whopper plopper. Look at this rod bend. I don't know where he's taking me. Good fish. Still haven't seen him. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. I don't know how, how much you can see. Oh, I got him on the side. No, he's a small mouth. But I gigged him. I think he came up and hit it and he missed it. Look at that sucker. Now trying to get him loose. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty fish? Let me measure him. I gotta get my tape measure, so I'm gonna let you sit down for a second. Whoop, sorry. Don't know that I can do this. He's 18 inches long. What a fish. So, let's see if I can release him. There he goes. Don't know how that video is going to be, but he was a lot of fun to catch on the Whopper Plopper, but kind of gigged him. Well, it was a good evening fishing. I'm going to call it a night. It's still, I still got some daylight, but I'm in a part of the water that's hardly ever catch anything down here. But again, it was a good evening. I'm glad I came out. That one that was so big that pulled my kayak around was a lot of fun.